Hey everybody, it's the Speed Freak, so I am pumped, I'm excited, uh, football's just about here, and tonight is the Vikings' first preseason game. Now, I'm not going to be able to watch it live, it's not available uh, where I live, but I will um, check it out on NFL Network tomorrow night. And tonight, I'll probably just look at the box score and just go over stats and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, you can't put too much stock into preseason games, but there are things to look for. I mean, that's why we have them, so um, coaches can, you know, evaluate talent and look at position battles and things of that nature. Um, and I think for the Vikings, it is more significant than for most teams because of our unique quarterback situation. Favre is not back. I think he will be, but... Until then, Tavares Jackson is our number one quarterback, so I'm really wondering, like, are they going to play him like the number one, just put him in for a series or two, and then um, turn it over to Sage Rosenfels? Or are they going to treat him more like you would a backup quarterback and just give him more time so they can evaluate him? And I, ho I am hoping he does get more game time. Um, a lot of people know that I um, like Tavares Jackson. Um, I'm not going to get into the whole argument again about him. Let's just see. We'll just see how he does. He will be missing um, a couple big playmakers on offense. Um, Sidney Rice has having hip problems, so he won't play. And um, Percy Harvin, a um, couple things. He recently had the death of his grandmother, and now he's having the migraine headaches. Um, so he won't be there. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm worried, but I am concerned. Um, as far as Sidney Rice goes, on hindsight, it looks like he probably should have had the season, at, at the beginning of the offseason, he should have had surgery, but from everything I've read, um, he is rehabbing well, and they think he's going to be ready for the season. Um, as far as Percy Harvin goes, he's had these migraines before. Um, it's a problem, but I think he's shown himself to be tough, and, um, you know, he was a very productive receiver for us last season, and I expect the same this year. Um, I'm glad the team's supporting him, and, you know, I, I, you know, I think he's a good guy. I, I don't, I'm not worried about his work ethic or anything like that. Um, then, um, the next, um, thing I'm going to be looking for besides, um, how Jackson does, um, is Toby Gerhardt. He, um, is filling some big shoes because Chester Taylor has gone to the Bears, which was a big loss for us. It's kind of a double whammy losing Taylor and losing him to the Bears. So, um, it's going to be interesting to see how Toby Gerhardt does. Uh, Taylor was our third down back, um, and we used him a lot in passing situations. Um, he's a good pass blocker and pass catcher. Um, just overall good back. I would say he was one of the best um, backup running backs in the NFL. So it's a big loss, and losing him to the Bears uh, made it hurt a little bit more, and I'll use that um, to transition into some Bears shout-outs. So um, SB20 champions... Blues for Bleezes, uh, Sports Fan Network, Jen Hawks, um, all you guys, um, shout out, looking forward to um, some trash talking and some hate this season. Um, now back to the Vikings on defense. The biggest thing I'm looking at on defense is there is a position battle for Cedric Griffin's spot because he's hurt. So it's between... Um, Benny Sapp, Asher Allen, and the rookie Chris Cook. So we'll see what happens there. Um, let's see. Let's do some... Back to the NFC North. Let's do some Packers shout-outs. Um, Sergeant Johnny. Um, Clark S. I always forget the numbers, but Clark S. Um, Packers Rock 58. J Tundra 10. Indian Packers. Looking forward to going at it with um, all you guys this season. Indian Packers, I'm really looking forward to see what you come up with, man. I love your vids. Um, you two, Sergeant Johnny, let's see what you do with that green screen this year. Um, and some bats. You know, last season, um, Vikings nearly swept the division. They did lose one game to Chicago, so um, the Speed Freak did pretty well on the bats. Um, 
Sergeant Johnny had to eat a pepper, pack his rocks, uh, stuffed his face with cupcakes. Um, so, yeah. And I am up for bets this year. Now, when it comes to the division rivalry games, I'm not saying I won't bet money, but I don't prefer to. I prefer the humiliation bets. Um, I've got an online sports book, and I do pretty well at it. I've uh, been profitable the last two seasons in a row, so I'm going for number three in a row this year. So, you know, if, if I want to make a money bet, I usually just do it with my online sports book. Um, I really enjoy the humiliation bets for um, division games, but I'm open. Like, if you guys want to do jerseys or hats or whatever, just um, let me know. Let me know. Let's have some fun with it this year. Um, and then we've got the Lions. Um, I'll give some shout outs to um, St. Joe Hayes, um, the Hitman. I'm not sure if he's still making vids or not. I hope so. Hope he makes some vids this season. And same thing with Carlisle Style 81. Hopefully, you'll make some vids. And um, Kyler, that's Carlisle, um, Carlisle Style. Uh, Kyler, I'm just going to say this like I'm just going to clear in the air. You're a kid, and so just learn from it. But um, you did Welsh on a bet in 08, man. So you can't do that. You cannot Welsh on bets. Um, I I will still bet with you, but I'm just putting that out there. Um, Got to man up to your bets, dude. But I like you, and uh, you're a good fan, so let's trash talk uh, some more this season. And uh, I want to say to um, all my NFC North buddies, um, I'm glad that we keep it clean in our division. Um, there's a lot of hate. Sometimes it gets a little bit crazy and heated, but um, I'm, I'm glad that... Um, None of the video makers in our division are like, suck my dick and all that other crap like some fan bases do. Lower class variety of people. So, anyhow, I, I like the trash talking in our division. I've heard some people say recently that, um, that I worry more about the Cowboys than, than my own division. So, you guys, uh, comment below. Um, NFC North video makers know that I am here and I bring the hate regularly and consistently and ferociously. So, you know, just, uh, yeah. Um, I've got a couple other shout outs outside the division. Jay Cutler owns YouTube. What's going on? Um, and then, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a shout out to some Cowboys fans. Um, there's a few out there that I like. Um, Evil Rubber Ducky, Homegrown Cowboy, Boy Jones 12, and I just saw a new video today that was pretty good by um, Just a Fly Guy. So, yeah, shout out to a few Cowboys fans, and then on to one last bit of business with Lizzie Freak. So, dude, what you've been saying a lot lately is, is you keep on, you keep on talking about, oh, Sidney Rice has a busted hip. Like, that's something for you to trash talk about. Like, you know, what, are you scared of him? First of all, I think he's going to be fine by the time you see him. And second of all, like, since when is that, like, something to brag about? That another player, a, another team has an injured player. <laughs> that's funny. Like, dude, are you just worried that they're going to burn you for another, that Rice is going to burn you for another three touchdowns like you did last time? Uh, you know, shoot, Sensabaugh still doesn't know about the first one he scored. <laughs> so, wow, well, you know, you just dig yourself deeper and deeper and make yourself look worse with everything you say. Oh, yeah, Sidney Rice is hurt. Good, maybe we'll have a chance. <laughs> Whatever, dude. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to um, talk about the Vikings' first preseason game, give some shout-outs to some uh, division rivals, and, of course, shout-outs to all my fellow Vikings video makers and fans. And uh, let's kick this thing off. Um, I will have another video for the Saints um, coming up, but, DZ, I saw your vid. Good video, man, but believe me, I will have, I will have something for you Saints fans. Don't worry about that. All right, guys, I'm out.